Hi, my name is Jared, and you are watching Life in Plastic. Welcome back! And if you're new here, welcome, welcome to Life in Plastic, a channel that celebrates doll collecting. Okay, we are all about fashion dolls and doll collectors here. Okay, so you are absolutely welcome to stay and hang out uh, because in this video, I have got a special treat for you. We are going to be unboxing the Rainbow High Slumber Party girls. Therefore, I am in my PJs right now because we're having a little slumber party, okay? Uh, so I have got Ms. Robin Sterling Okay, Robin Sterling in her box. She is looking so lovely. Lovely, lovely girl right here. I can't wait to get her out. And of course, besides the Tiffany Blue Queen, I have got the princess of Bubblegum Pink, Ms. Brianna. Okay, Brianna, is it Dulce or Dulce? I don't know, but Brianna is so lovely and I cannot wait to get her out of the box. So yeah, those are the two girls that I have. I do not have Marissa Golding yet, but I'm hoping to get her very soon. Okay, so in this video, we are going to unbox Brianna and Robin. So stick around. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's start with Ms. Robin Sterling. Okay, Robin in her box is so lovely. All right, um, just from looking at her in the box, we can see that she is this lovely Tiffany blue color. Uh, and she has got some lovely uh, baby hairs going on. You know, her eyes match her clothes. Uh, she's got beautiful a beautiful face up. Okay, she has uh, some lovely eyeshadow that again matches her whole color scheme, but also there's some silvery, uh, glittery eyeshadow going on there as well. Okay, because you know, you go to your slumber party with makeup on, right? Uh, and then she's wearing this lovely robe and she has the cutest slippers, which you can't really see in the box. So I'll show them to you later. She has a manicure that matches her color scheme uh, and she's got some lovely earrings and a nice little necklace as well. Okay, uh, there's some art here in the bottom of the front of the box featuring the three slumber party girls. Uh, she has a secondary outfit, which is very chic. I love it. It's like this white uh, top, okay, that is like tied at the waist or uh, appears to be tied at the waist. Uh, and then there is the um, the pants. Okay, I love these pants. Uh, I'm not sure if they're like supposed to be like sleeping pants or something, but they're really, really cute and chic. And of course, she's got some high heeled sandals uh, with some uh, faux fur trim. Okay, and then she has got the cutest, most adorable sleeping cot right there. Okay, she has the most adorable sleeping cot uh, and a pillow, okay, that has, it's just, it reminds me of a Tiffany box, you know? Um, and then the back of the box has some lovely artwork featuring all three slumber party girls. Okay, so yeah, this is making me want to collect all of them, honestly. Uh, it's such beautiful artwork featuring Brianna, Marissa and Robin, uh, and it says, meet the leaders of the super secret sleepover society at Rainbow High. They're all about spa days, hot gossip, and total relaxation. So am I, honey, so am I. I love total relaxation. I mean, clearly, look at me. All right, um, so yeah, let's get Robin out of the box, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna start by using my box cutter to cut some of this tape that is keeping the box shut. 
think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get this back panel off without tearing anything. Because I do love the artwork and I like to save the artwork if I can. This is so nerve wracking. Okay, there you go. Ta-da! See, I got it open without tearing anything. Thank goodness. Okay, let's get Robin out of here. So here is Robin on her cardboard sleeve. Okay, now you can see her a little bit better without the ring light glare, right? She's wearing this lovely sleep mask with like eyelashes on it. It's so cute. I love it. It's also got like some lace trim to it. See? Very cute. Alrighty, so Ms. Robin Sterling does come with a comb and a doll stand that matches her color scheme. Okay, lovely. She also comes with these hangers for her clothes. Very cute, love these. And here is Ms. Robin Sterling herself. She is amazingly beautiful okay love 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 this girl so much she's wearing her hair in a high ponytail okay and it just cascades uh like a little bit past her knees it's very long okay she has her sleep mask on okay it's it's on her head and it's got those eyelashes and also some lace trim She's wearing these lovely earrings, okay, that look like giant pearls. Uh, as I said, her makeup is gorgeous. It matches her color scheme, as does her eyes. Uh, her lips are very pretty. It's like a soft, almost like a very soft plum uh, that goes very well with her skin tone. Uh, and she's wearing this robe, this diaphanous robe with fur trim, with faux fur trim. Uh, and it's, I think it's like a kind of chiffon, perhaps. Okay, and then underneath the robe, she has on these cute, like, this cute ensemble with like the shorts and this nice top, uh, which is made out of a fabric that kind of resembles silk. Okay. It's probably some sort of blend that, that is made to mimic silk. Uh, and it's got a very cute print with like jewelry on it, okay? It's got very cute jewelry type adornments on the uh, outfit underneath the robe. Uh, and again, I think that is a callback to the fact that this girl is very Tiffany blue, right? Uh, she's got the most adorable socks with lace trim and some ribbons and these slippers which are bunny slippers, and one ear of the bunny is floppy. Okay, the bunny has floppy ears. So, so cute. So she is absolutely gorgeous. She is so adorable. I love Robin. Love, 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 Robin, darlings. Yes. So pretty. She is very, very pretty. And this is Robin's secondary outfit, okay? It is a cropped blouse, white blouse, uh, with some buttons, some button details, okay? And it looks like it's tied at the waist, or, you know, it's, it's cropped, so it's like a little bit higher than the waist, I guess. Uh, and then she's got these like silky long pants with faux fur trim. Okay, at this that at the ends of the legs. So pretty, right? I love this outfit. And then the secondary outfit came with these shoes. Okay, they're like these sandals, high-heeled sandals, which have a faux fur trim as well. Very, very cute. Love, love, love these shoes. Okay, and Robin came with a cute little sleeping cot or a sleeping bag. Okay, for her slumber party, of course. 
All right, and this is the back of the sleeping cot. Here's the front. It zips open and shut. Okay, so there's a zipper. It is, uh, it looks like it's lined. Yeah, it's lined with the same uh, fabric as her first ensemble underneath the robe. See, it's got like those jewelry things underneath. Okay, let's remove this plastic thing that's inside. That's keeping its shape. Yeah, so the sleeping cot is so cute. So cute, and of course, she came with this pillow. Okay, this pillow that looks like a Tiffany box. Uh, look at this tag, I'm gonna cut it, of course. Uh, but yeah, here's the pillow and here's the cot. Okay, let's put Robin inside the cot and see how she looks in the cot. By the way, her hair does have some product in it. So I'm probably gonna wash her hair at some point. And here is Robin in her sleeping cot. So adorable, I freaking love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yes, so cute. All right. <clears throat> so why don't we unbox Brianna this time? Okay, here is Brianna in her box. She looks so, so cute. I freaking love this doll. Okay. Love her so much. So cute. All right, let's get her out of the box. Okay, so Ms. Brianna Dulce or Dulce came with a comb as well as a doll stand, uh, as well as some hangers for her clothes, all in bubblegum pink to match her color scheme. Uh, and here she is. She is so very lovely. Okay, so, so cute. Her hair is in these pigtails. Okay, adorable. Love, love, love these bouncy curls. Uh, and there are two uh, sections that are cascading down the front of her face. They're in these ringlets. Uh, lovely. Okay, her face up is beautiful. Okay, she has got, like, her eyes have, like, purple and pink and blue in them. Uh, her eyeshadow uh, is, like, pink and white and gold glitter. Okay, she's wearing these, um, these dangling earrings. Okay, very pretty. Uh, she's also got a terry cloth robe with some gold, um, like, detailing on it. Okay, some trim that has, like, a gold print. Uh, very, very pretty. Okay, and underneath, she's wearing these shorts and this crop top. And she has on some knee-high socks uh, and the most adorable teddy bear slippers. Okay, very, very cute. I adore everything that she's wearing. It is all just so much cuteness. I freaking love it. And she herself is very pretty. By the way, she does have freckles. Okay, if you look closely at her face, she does have freckles. She is a very, very pretty girl. Love me some Brianna. All right, and Brianna also came with a second outfit, this tracksuit situation, which is very juicy couture, okay, very early 2000s. This tracksuit, love it, uh, as well as these high-heeled sandals, okay, that say rainbow in the inner sole and then magic across the strap, okay, rainbow magic say these high-heeled sandals uh, and she also came with a sleeping cot of course okay which also zips up open and shut lovely okay it is um this one is just lined with like a plain pink fabric uh, but the outside is printed with 
this cute print that has like a some sort of face emoji with which is blowing a bubblegum, uh, which I think is a nod to the fact that she is bubblegum pink. Okay, so very clever. Uh, and she came with this pillow that says, never let anyone burst your bubble. Bubblegum pink. There you go. So yeah, really cute accessories here. Uh, she is, the doll itself is lovely. Okay, so I am very, very pleased. I am so, so pleased with Brianna. And just like that, it is time for me to give you my final thoughts on Robin and Brianna of the Slumber Party line. Uh, so first off, let me just say that these have got to be the cutest Rainbow High dolls that have ever been made. They are just so adorable. Okay, their faces are lovely. Uh, the hair is spectacular on these. Okay, there's a little bit of product, but it, it looks really good and it, it's not super crunchy, if you know what I mean. Uh, and the outfits are so adorable, okay? I love these uh, masks that they've got on, the sleeping masks. Uh, I love the robes. I love the slippers, okay? These adorable slippers are just the best. I freaking love them. Um, the cots are lovely. The accessories are, are on point. Okay, it's perfect. It is perfection. A 10 out of 10 from me for both of these girls. They are so lovely. I cannot wait to get my hands on Marissa. Okay, so is it worth the $49 that I paid for each doll? Uh, absolutely, it is worth it because you do get these beautiful dolls, two outfits, as well as some nice accessories. So to me, it is absolutely worth it. Um, of course, you can wait till, you know, maybe one of these days they may go on sale, but uh, I don't know that you would want to wait that long because these are very hard to find right now. Um, so yeah, here they are, Robin and Brianna. They are so lovely. I am very, very happy to add them to my collection. I'm very excited to have them uh, and we, Three, Robin, Brianna, and I are going to have a nice little slumber party tonight. Yes. So what do you think of the slumber party girls? Are they dolls that you would want to add to your collection? Let me know in the comments. It's time. It is time for question of the week. And this week's question is from my good friend and an elite member of Life in Plastic, Ms. Pamela Militello. Pam says, Hey Jared, you know your Barbie collection is goals for me. Wow. I love how diverse your collection has become. There are still a bunch of different doll lines that I don't see in your displays. Are there any fashion dolls or other that you are possibly interested in collecting in the future that you haven't decided on or committed to yet. You know what they say, never say never. Yes, never say never, absolutely right. Because, uh, you know, I simply could never say never uh, when it comes to dolls because uh, as was proven recently, when I started collecting Rainbow High back in August, right? I, I didn't, I never thought that I would end up with almost every single doll from Rainbow High. Uh, and, you know, this whole thing started simply because I wanted some high-heeled shoes that would fit Ken doll. So, you know, somebody told me, yeah, the high-heeled shoes from Rainbow High might actually fit Ken. So I went and got one, uh, and it was Stella Monroe, my first Rainbow High doll. Uh, and when I unboxed her, that was it. Okay, it was over. Uh, I just had to have like every single doll from Rainbow High. So, never say never. Uh, to answer your question, Pam, and thank you for your question, by the way. Uh, to answer your question, is there any doll that I'm interested in that I haven't committed to collecting yet? Um, I have to say, I am a little bit interested in Mitzi. I know you are, Pam, uh, but yeah, me too. I'm kind of interested in Mitzi. 
um, there just hasn't been a doll that has that has me saying, oh, I have to have that doll. You know what I mean? I, I just haven't been uh, completely sold on one of them yet. I know they're very pretty. Uh, you, you're gonna have to let me know what your experience has been with Mitzi because um, I am kind of interested. Uh, also, if I had the space, I would actually collect American Girl dolls, believe it or not, uh, because I think that they're, well, the dolls themselves are okay. Like, I'm not super in love with the dolls themselves, but like the outfits and the accessories, okay, all the miniatures that come with these dolls are so delightful. I would love to have a collection of all those like mini things, you know? Uh, but again, I don't have the space to start collecting such large dolls and accessories and diorama sets. So yeah, as much as I think they're adorable, I'm not going to start collecting them anytime soon, I don't think, unless I move into like a mansion or something. So wish me luck on that. All right. Maybe I'll win the lottery and move into a mansion and start collecting these huge dolls like giant Amaya. <laughs> okay. Uh, so again, thank you for your question, Pam. Uh, by the way, guys, if you have a question for me that you want to be featured in an upcoming video, remember to use the hashtag AskLifeInPlastic, okay? Use the hashtag AskLifeInPlastic. That way I know that you want your question to be featured in a video, okay? If you ask me a question and you don't use the hashtag, then I'll probably just answer your question directly in the comments. Okay, but if you use the hashtag, then I may choose to feature your question in an upcoming video. All right. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a like, all right? Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to Life in Plastic. Consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps to grow the channel when there are subscribers. Um, also, there is now a join button next to the subscribe button here on YouTube. If you click on that join button, a video will play of me explaining all of the perks, all of the benefits of becoming a member of Life in Plastic, okay? Uh, so I hope you'll consider becoming a member of Life in Plastic. And speaking of members of Life in Plastic, I do want to acknowledge and give a special thank you to my elite members of Life in Plastic, Ms. Pamela Militello and Ms. Noemi Delama. Thank you so much, Pam and Noemi. I really appreciate you. Uh, I, I'm really grateful for your support and uh, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.